today is Ruth Day. And they're covering everything with a huge tarp. Look at that, wow. That's pretty cool. I hope they cover those too. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is exciting. Look at that. Ooh. Now this company said they are going to be finishing this roof all in one day. So I'm really interested to see if that really happens. <laughs> It is, um, it's like 6.50 in the morning right now. It's not even 7 o'clock. They're getting a really start, uh, really early start this morning. They were here about a little after 6.30, getting everything prepped. We gotta move all of our cars out, which is what we're doing now. So they've got access to absolutely everything. And here's all the equipment today. And the new shingles. The uh, new color we're putting on is called Driftwood. All right, they got the whole front garden covered up by the house, which is awesome. And this should look a lot different after today. We're also going to paint the, um, the tin roof area as well. Scott is taking Jeff to school. So there's a lot happening today. But while I'm up front here, <laughs> look at apricots and cream. It's starting to open up. And it looks so beautiful. Your state of grace. <laughs> and the generous gardener. Okay, it's coming down. And unfortunately, my Mondial roses are not covered. I'm not really sure what to do about that right now. And I cannot go out there because I will get destroyed with falling shingles. Um, so, I'm not sure what to do. I just don't want my roses to get destroyed. It's gonna be kind of hard to cover those anyway because they're so delicate. Oh my gosh. I think I'm just gonna to have to chill. So y'all just cross your fingers, say a little prayer that the Mondale roses make it through today. I think I'm definitely gonna be uh, housebound today. Everything's covered in tarp and um, well, I can go out the garage, but still I'm like, there's a dump truck in our garage, uh, driveway where they are dumping shingles and all this stuff. And I certainly don't want to get clobbered by that. So, you know, I think that we're going to be staying in today quite a bit, <laughs> which is fine. I'm excited to get this done. Phoenix is like, what is that? All the cats are spazzing out and going into hiding. <laughs> yeah. Luigi may not come back today. Gosh. Nice breakfast, huh? <laughs> it's all good. Upstairs, it sounds like World War II going on. Does it? I think we're going to be spending most of today downstairs. 
That is so unbelievably loud. Whew. It's a bit dangerous to walk outside the house right now. What a mess. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. You know, the great thing is though, is that they are going to have all this cleaned up by the end of the day, which I just, it's totally fascinating to me that they can uh, do all of this in one single day. So I'm really looking forward to showing y'all how everything looks afterwards. Here's my dear Elizabeth. She does not like all this noise, so she's got her headphones on inside the house, so she doesn't have to hear all this banging and stuff. So it is pretty loud, isn't it, babe? Yeah. Especially upstairs. Yeah, upstairs it's really, really loud. So she hasn't started school quite yet, but I mean, it's only 8.30. She usually starts around 9, so that'll be really interesting trying to do schoolwork today, huh? I may do it later. Oh no, they're working all day, darling. I know. All day. And so right now, this is actually not bad, but when they start putting on the new roof and you hear the nail gun, like you you will not be able to concentrate then. You know what you can do? You can work during their lunch break. How about that? That's probably a good idea. Or just work with your headphones on. Probably just gonna work with my AirPods on and put my headphones on over it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, the joys of homeschooling. On lunch break, I'm probably just going to do my math because I have to listen to that. Yeah. Oh, goodness. We're just having fun here. <laughs> Listening to all this. It's pretty... I'm so excited. I know. I knew it was going to be noisy today. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. Like, oh my gosh, there's a big shingle that just fell. You know, nothing is... Um, neat or perfect about getting your roof redone so i mean it none of this bothers me i know what to expect okay, like i know that you know okay. these kinds of things are going to happen it's going to be now loud and noisy and and all of that um but i'm just so excited to see how it looks in the end i cannot wait oh so excited so it's just we live in an area that aside from the rock quarry it is so unbelievably quiet here like nothing ever happens around here so it's just different to be um hearing all this noise phoenix is like what is going on <laughs> it's okay buddy you're safe in here as long as you stay inside okay We've got blankets all over the <laughs> all over the place. Okay, so I just spoke with David, who's the owner, and he is so so kind. He's gonna get a big piece of plywood to help um, try and cover up these roses and try and protect them from the falling debris. See, here he comes. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it hey, so much. It's, well, it, uh, it might be enough to cover two of them. Yeah. I'll see what I can find. Let me see. Oh boy. I don't know of any other uh, roofing <laughs> contractor that would be <laughs> you know so what I had obliged. To do one time, they, we were doing a building, and they just had uh, landscaping done with uh, roses—not not really roses, but all kind of flowers. The only thing that we could do was put—we put, we put uh, from a liquor store. We got all the box, empty boxes and put them over the plants. That's such a good idea. They were all about this high. 
Oh, okay, so, so they're a little bit smaller, yeah. Oh my, we didn't damage one. Wow, that's, that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> Maybe I need to go see if I got some. <laughs> my garage. <laughs> some empties. All right, now let's see if this is... Hmm, I don't know. Um, or you know what? Maybe what we could do is at least protect this one and lean it up against here. Is that a possibility? I don't know. Because it might be too far. It might come too far to here. Yeah, like just like that. Like that. That's probably because good. If it leans too far, it'll break it. Yeah. <laughs> And then, you know, you can't really put a tarp over them because it'll break them. Yeah, yeah. tarp might break them. Hey, buddy. They're not wearing their shirts. I just got them their new t-shirts last week. Nice. And they're not wearing them. Oh, they're not wearing them today. <laughs> they probably wore them on the next job that we did. Yeah. And then they probably... Uh, well, I don't, maybe just tell... Maybe you could just tell your guys not to try and... Try and not hey, drop it over here, but just get it. it. There's no flower, the, cannot, uh, no break. Uh -huh. You have to keep bueno. Okay. <laughs> Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's amazing to think this is all going to be cleaned up by the end of the day and a new roof put on. Amazing. Here we have David. He is <laughs> cleaning up all the little pieces of shingles out of my hydrangeas for me. He's such a sweetheart. I don't know of another roofer that would do this for you guys. So you need to give him a call if you need a new roof. <laughs> this is top notch service right here, guys. Just don't get clobbered by falling shingles, please. Please be careful. Ah! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thank you so much. You are the oh, you yeah. are the best. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> that was a big one down there. Yeah. for these people. They work so hard. Okay, it is all done. It is eight o'clock and everything is cleaned up and everybody has left. The kids are swimming and it's all done. It looks so good. They did such a great job and I can't believe they did it all in one day. That's just amazing to me. They got here. At like six, well, I heard them at 6.30 this morning. <laughs> so it's, it's a long day for them, but um, so, so impressed.
and no. there was minimal damage to the garden. Uh, in a minute, buddy. I'm taking a video right now. There was minimal damage to the garden here. They had a whole tarp over this whole thing. And these are just, you know, these are bent over a little bit. They should recover just fine. And the hosta got a little bit squashed, but it'll be okay. It's ho hosta. And a couple of these, I probably should just cut those back. Um, but look, I mean, the, the hydrangeas made it just fine. I am just amazed. And all, all the roses made it too. I was so worried about these. There was a couple of canes that did break. Um, but for the most part, they are still standing. So I am so, so happy. They did a great job. And he was so respectful of like understanding that my garden is my baby. So I really appreciate um, how much... My garden is my baby. You are my children. <laughs> we are your babies. Yes, you're my babies too. I will forever be your babies. Yes, yes, that is true. Um, so anyway, that concludes this video. I'll get a front shot real quick before I end this video. Um, but I'll do that later because I'm hanging out with these two Amazing children, right? Amazing. You are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's. I haven't seen any nails on the ground or anything. We still need to go through and inspect and just make sure that there's no leftover nails because that would not be fun to step on that. So, but so far, it all looks great. Okay, it's all done. We just gotta get that, uh, the tin roof uh, sections up front painted and then everything will look a whole lot more put together and completely finished. Um, but yeah, we're so happy with it. So if you live in Georgia and you're uh, needing a new roof, make sure to contact David, Rackley Roofing and Supply. A really great company we're so impressed with them super happy and um, he's a really nice guy so uh that's that hope y'all have a great night